Hey everybody, I'm Joyce and welcome back to my channel, Sheep Bones. Today I'm going to be showing you my February favorites. I know this video is kind of late because we're a little bit more than a week into March already, but I haven't been putting many videos up if you haven't noticed already because I was out on vacation in Mexico for my cousin's wedding and I didn't have a chance to put anything up before that either because I was sick and my voice was crazy and I wasn't feeling good all that fun stuff. But speaking of Mexico, my next video is going to be an outfit of the week, what I wore in Mexico. I was really excited to wear what I wore there because I knew it was going to be boiling hot and uh, just a little preview of what I would be wearing for spring and summer. So keep an eye out for that and that will be coming up next. Anyway, let's move on to my February favorites. Again, a lot of it has to do with skincare. I've been really into buying products that are gonna help my skin out. And for the past month, there have been a few things that have really, that I've really latched onto, and I'm going to show them to you right now. The first one is another Kiehl's product. I bought, I showed off a Kiehl's product in my last favorites video. I, I'm using their anti-aging uh, copper cream, which is really amazing for its moisturizing properties. As far as anti-aging goes, I'm not really sure if it's working yet. I have to like really pay attention to that. But I went back and I bought their regular facial cream, their regular moisturizer. And I love this. They gave me a sample of it when I bought the anti-aging cream and I fell in love with this. It's super light. It doesn't feel greasy or heavy on my skin and I don't feel like I have tons of product on my face when I layer it underneath my foundation or my tinted moisturizer. This is just a really great regular moisturizer that does the job and I know Kiehl's is a little pricey but I really like their products and I know that I'm getting a great quality cream when I purchase their creams. <laughs> so this is really good. I've been loving this and I'm just really glad I went back to buy the full size product. So this is something that I really like. It's Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So there's the first one. The next thing I've been using a lot in the past month is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. And this is something new to me. I usually, actually I always, always wear Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer. And I wanted something with a little more coverage, especially with my cousin's wedding coming up. Um, I chose to go with Laura Mercier because I trust their formulas and I've heard really great things about their Silk Cream Foundation. I tried a bunch of other foundations, like sample sizes, like a Chanel foundation, and for some reason, those other ones didn't set on my skin as well, but the moment I tried this on my skin at Sephora, when I tested it, the formula was perfect on my skin. It didn't make it look cakey or dried out. It didn't settle in the lines on my face, uh, like my smile lines, and I was really impressed with the way it applied on my skin. Plus, the shade is perfect, it matched my neck, it just, it's a perfect foundation for me and I don't usually wear foundation so it's kind of a big deal. My shade is Bamboo Beige and it's a little bit lighter than the tinted moisture I, moisturizer I use from Laura Mercier but nothing a little faux tan powder can't fix. So this is great, the coverage and the application is awesome in Laura Mercier's foundation. If you guys have never tried their face products, amazing, you should try them. So yeah, this is the foundation I've been using uh, a lot in February, and that's the second product. Now this next purchase I made in February was something that I was thinking about for a very long time because I wasn't sure, you know, it's one of those things that you hear really good things about but you don't know if it's gonna work for you or if you're gonna have the same results as everybody else. But I went ahead and bought it anyway because in my last favorites video I said I wanted to really focus on taking care of my skin. And I went ahead and I fell for all the great reviews that the Clarisonic got online. I got the Clarisonic Mia and it's the tiny one that's got two speeds I believe. No, it doesn't have two speeds, just kidding. But um, it's a smaller version of the regular original Clarisonic and I got it off of beglowing.com. They had a deal, so I thought I'd go ahead and purchase it. I got it at a discount price. I ended up loving this thing. And 
when I say it cleans my skin, I mean it cleans my skin. It feels squeaky clean. Literally, my skin feels squeaky clean after I use this. I use it every night. Uh, it's during my, my skincare routine before I go to sleep. I use it every night for a minute, and it's got a timer. Also, I went to Mexico for four days, as I mentioned earlier, and I didn't bring this with me. And the four days that I didn't use my Mia, my skin felt kind of grainy and bumpy just it wasn't clean and smooth and I really felt a difference you know from not using it for just a few days so if you're skeptical about getting this you should definitely try it it works wonders and it's super gentle on your skin now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is my favorite product I've been using in February and it is the Mario Badesco facial spray with rose water herbs and aloe now this thing is amazing first of all it smells oh it smells like a bouquet of flowers it's so delicious i wish i could just drink it but this is basically a little pick-me-up for your skin you can spray this any time of the day with makeup on without makeup on and it'll help keep your skin hydrated the aloe really helps keep your skin hydrated and the rose water and whatever herbs are in it are supposed to kind of make your face and your skin feel a little bit brighter and lighter. I really love this thing. I've been using it every night before I go to sleep after I do my skincare routine. And I haven't even used much of it. A little bit goes a long way with this spray. All you have to do is just... Oh, it smells so good and it tastes delicious. Have you guys ever had rose water? It's so delicious. I first found out about this a couple months ago when I took my headshots and the makeup artist who did my makeup, obviously, she used this on my skin before she put on all the other products. And I had no idea what it was, but when I smelled it after she sprayed it, I asked her immediately if I could steal the bottle. But course I didn't get it and a friend of mine gave me the heads up that they were having a deal on guilt.com for this and I had to jump on that so I love this you should check it out and you should definitely purchase it I highly recommend it I'm gonna do another spray oh it's so good <sighs> now moving on from skincare products I'm gonna show you my favorite shoe the past uh, few weeks actually. I got these like in the middle of February. But these have been my go-to sandal for the past few weeks. And here they are. These beautiful metallic silver babies. These sandals are from Forever 21. They were only like $24, which is pretty good. They have these online too if you can't find them in your local store. But they're so comfortable. They fit really, really well, and I wore these everywhere in Mexico. These took me everywhere in Mexico. They're, you know, pretty sturdy. Sometimes I'm skeptical about buying Forever 21 shoes, but these ones were a really good fit, and they look great with everything. I probably wore them more than any other shoe in Mexico, so I love these. I don't usually go for silver, which is, you know, why this was kind of weird for me to purchase, but they literally go with everything I own, and... Yeah, my go-to shoe, my favorite shoe of February. The last thing I want to show you is actually an app and it's called Whole Living Smoothies. And I think Whole Living apps are established by the Martha Stewart company. I don't know, Martha Stewart, whatever. Um, but this is an app that gives you a bunch of smoothie recipes. And let me show you real quick. Hold on. Can you guys see it? Ooh. So it gives you nine different categories of smoothies. You have essential, you've got meal in a glass, you've got, what is that, allergen free, detox, immunity boosting, weight loss, weight loss, immunity boosting, detox. All right, so there's like a bunch of different recipes of smoothies that have uh, different purposes and functions. And this is a really good guide. If you're someone who likes to make smoothies a lot like me, um, it's a really good way to kind of show all the different things you could use in a smoothie and if you haven't made smoothies in a while this will be a really good way to get back into it. Now one of them I tried recently is one of the simpler ones, it's just peach strawberry and it contains milk. Um, let's see, but if you scroll you can get things, some more unique things like banana nutmeg, what is that? 
pineapple ginger, mmm, <gasps> plum and buttermilk. Lots of different mixtures of, of things you could put in your smoothies. So this app is really helpful. I think it's great. It's a really detailed, smooth app. I don't know if it comes on the iPhone. It may. But if you have an iPad or possibly an iPhone, this is definitely something you should check out. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for my February favorites video. If you like this video, please go ahead and click on that thumbs up button. And if you really liked it, and since you're already here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And also in the comment section below, go ahead and let me know if you use any of the products I shown, I've shown today. And yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. So I will see you all next time with my outfit of the week in Mexico video. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.